Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Today's confusing computing conundrum, delete. It started with my friend in Japan. He was a hacker, always leaving his computer on, along with his AIM and MSN. When he logged out on both of them, I assumed that his computer had finally died from just overload. Then I noticed all his posts on our favorite sites were gone. All his accounts, all his videos, all his comments. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. My name is Nathan, and I'm a shut-in. Agoraphobia. I live in North Carolina, and I program for a living. My sister does the shopping for me. Uh, I live in a basement. No windows. That might very well be the only thing that's keeping me safe right now. I woke up a month ago at 3 a.m., went and sat down at my desk ready to work a bit, but mostly to chat. That's when I noticed Chaos Sirida was gone. I don't know his real name, so please don't bother asking. Besides some spelling issues, he was a fairly good English speaker and I enjoyed talking to him. He knew everything about computers, too, stuff that I had no idea even existed. That's why I wasn't worried at the time. It was well within his expertise to hack into sites and delete his own posts. I'd assumed that he'd gotten sick of the internet. I mean, he'd been complaining about it for years. I tried discussing his disappearance with a mutual friend. He seemed confused, like he was forgetting who Chaos had been. This friend was really old, so I worried about his mental health anyway. I decided to just let it go, talk about sports a bit. By this time, three or four people had stopped logging on. Not the most unusual thing in the world, I mean, people get busy sometimes or just didn't feel like talking. Only their posts and their accounts disappeared as well. Now, it had been a couple of days since chaos went missing and I was getting fairly freaked out so I turned off the computer and watched television for a while and that's when it got scary one of our local news anchors was gone the other would sometimes look over to the spot where her partner should be and look confused for a while only to return to speaking as usual a local show called Three Sisters or something was now Two Sisters. And yes, the third sister was actually gone as well. As with the news, sometimes there would be times where it was obvious the third sister was important. And for a moment, everyone would stop and they'd seem to remember for a second, but then they just went on and kept acting. A cooking show was just showing the studio with no host, no chef, nothing. Now, I'm a rational man, or at least I like to think I am. I was quick to rationalize practically everything. The news anchor wasn't used to working alone while her partner was sick, and the show with the sisters... That was part of one of the plots that I didn't know because I didn't actually watch the show. The cooking show? Um, that was harder to explain. Maybe they left the camera running while they had to leave for some reason and the network guys just didn't notice? I had calmed myself down and decided to watch something else, so I got a TV guide out. Uh, that my sister had gotten me and flipped through it. That's when I noticed the freakiest thing yet. The two stooges. I stared blankly at the name squished between an old Britcom and one of those shows about how great the 50s were. 
it was soon to start, so I flipped over to the channel, and sure enough, the title screen actually said, Two Stooges. Uh, this had to be some kind of a joke or a rip-off, but no, the bit started the same way I remembered it, only with a stooge down. No Larry. I freaked out and turned off the TV. So, here I am. It's been a month and uh, around a hundred people are missing that I know of. Uh, my sister's gone as well and I'm posting this in every site I can, hopefully reaching as many people as I can. Uh, if you can notice people missing as well, uh, my name's Nate Creek and I live in a small town in North Carolina. Please PM me as soon as possible. Hey, uh, Bob? Bob, can you help me out here? The man stared at the computer screen, furrowing his eyebrows. What do you want, Jim? Bob walked over to him, a bored look on his face. Um, one of the AIs has, uh, a glitch. How so? Well, I deleted several of the others and an entertainment pack so I could install the new versions, but this AI didn't delete its memories and it's panicking. I thought it was the lack of support AI because I had uh, deleted the sister file as well, but the memory logs show it started much sooner than that. He's been at his computer for hours now. What's he doing? Working? Creative writing? Autobiographical diary, it says. I thought we didn't install that module on this one. It's probably just a glitch of some sort. Just delete it and do a clean install with the others. Jim sighed. Yeah, but I kind of like this one. It's just a program, Jim. It's not like it's sentient. Jim watched the visual representation of Nate underscore Creek underscore five type furiously. Yeah, I, I guess you're right, Bob. Jim right-clicked the AI and chose delete. Yeah, the idea that something absolutely terrifying to you might be everyday workaday for someone else is... A whole different kind of terrifying all its own. Stay scary, wildlings, and make the most of your nights.